Hello everyone, I'd like to talk to you today about obsession. I had a meeting with a coaching client a little bit earlier this week, someone who's been uh, involved in our work for several years, um, had been originally to a seminar, and then I did some follow-up coaching with him uh, on Monday. And, and interestingly, um, when I think back on sort of his, his story with getting things done, when he came to the seminar, one of the things that he was really taken with was this idea of clear mental space. Uh, he very quickly uh, got himself engaged with, um, with best practices around capture, right? Getting things out of his head, um, making sure that all of his, uh, the things that he'd captured were in defined capture buckets. And the other thing that he got very enthused about was this idea of clean, uh, clean capture locations, clean inboxes, right? Whether it was his physical in-tray or whether it was his email inbox, he was very keen on the idea that they should be emptied on a regular basis, which is, of course, one of the things that we recommend. But as I was talking to him this week, what he was saying was, over time, what he recognized was that he was becoming a bit obsessive about getting his email inbox to zero, that that was uh, that, that his focus on that was getting in the way of him focusing on the right things, to use his words. And so we talked a little bit about that. We talked about, you know, what what made that happen in the first place, and what more importantly, maybe, did he feel as though he was neglecting by spending so much time focused on getting his inbox to zero. And what he realized was that he, in essence, was in, in getting his inbox to zero, he was focusing primarily on the tactical, right? He was focusing on the, you know, making clarifying decisions. What does this mean for me? Do I need to do something about this? Is it actionable? Um, you know, what's the next action? The, the kinds of questions that we recommend as part of the clarifying, the clarifying best practices. Um, but what he wasn't allowing any space for was, was bigger, longer, term thinking, right? So more strategic thinking, which, which would have better informed his priority decisions day to day and minute to minute about what to do. And to put this in GTD terms, what he really wasn't spending much time doing was identifying and then reflecting on project. And again, as a, as a review, a, a project in GTD is any, any multi-step outcome that you're going to get done in the next 12 months or so. And so one of the things that we did together in this, uh, in this coaching was we revisited the thinking behind you know, projects. What is a project? What does a good project look like? And then uh, we worked for, for quite a while on making sure that his projects list was up to date. And it didn't surprise me at all, actually, given what he was telling me, that, that when I walked in uh, to the coaching, his projects list basically was non-existent. Right? So he had, he had become obsessed with focusing on the tactical, focusing, as we would say in GTD, on the runway level or at the ground level. And what he was missing was this, um, this was mechanisms and, uh, and um, the time that he would choose to spend focusing on the higher horizon of, of projects. And so we built him a good projects list and we, and we um, you know, talked a little bit about um, how we would use it in the future. And as he was talking about his projects, I could sort of see his, you know, in some ways kind of the stress melting away from him. He was recognizing the value of that and recognizing what that was going to mean for, uh, for his ability to operate stress-free in the future. So it, it was just a reminder for me of the fact that all of the best practices that we recommend in GTD need to be, uh, need to be considered, I suppose, in, in a sense of what's the balance, what's the right balance for me? And over-focusing on anything, whether it's my email inbox or whether it's my projects list or whether it's my, you know, my waiting for list, anything that I over-focus on, give too much attention to, can get in the way of me ultimately being effective, efficient, and stress-free. So I guess my, my message today is have a think about your own uh, your own systems and your own GTD practice and ask yourself the question, have I, have I allowed myself to become a bit obsessed with one element to the detriment of others? Thanks for being with me today.